Contra Operation Galuga Review, my fair review. One of the very first games that I played in my life during early 90s was the famous Contra. And here I am again, nearly 40 years later, playing new Contra. Or should I say, a reworked, remastered edition of the very first Contra game. Let's rate it properly as it deserves. First section is the story. Simple story, elite squad of Contra is on a mission. Mission, save the planet from aliens. Silly writing, a bit of comedy in some lines, but overall, the game follows retro style storyline and it's actually refreshing to see a simple and straightforward story in a game for once. 6 out of 10 for the story. Next section would be game bugs and optimization. Played on PlayStation 5 and I also tested new Contra on PC for a few minutes. This is a bug-free, perfect game that will work on a toaster too. Controls are smooth, responsive and overall the game is optimized and balanced to perfection. 10 out of 10 for game bugs and optimization. Next section is game time. It took me 3 hours to finish the game on the hardest difficulty available. It will take around 2 hours for other difficulties if not even an hour to finish the main story especially on easy difficulty. That's not it, of course, the game offers plenty of other mods to play on, including arcade mod, one-shot mod, challenges and, of course, speedruns. There is easily 20 hours plus worth of content here, not to mention playing this game in co-op, because after all, it was made for co-op. To perfect this game and become a master in it, you will need easily above 100 hours. Price is a bit high right now and I would wait for a discount here. 7 out of 10 for the game time. Next section would be game difficulty. It can be easy fun on a couch with your friend, wife, brother or sister or it can be infuriating hard mod 3 lives to finish the game on your own. In other words, everyone can play this and enjoy the game but to master Contra it will take months of practice and dedication like it was back in 80s and 90s. Hardcore mod is supported and ready for old school players. Contra is one perfectly balanced game ready for everyone. 10 out of 10 for the game difficulty. Next section is maps and graphics. Only 8 maps in total, but every single map is unique as it gets. Of course, most of the maps are used assets from old Contra games covered in a new paint. Familiar areas and enemies are everywhere. Graphics are quite good for a side scroller, but there was one small problem during the gameplay. Sometimes, cause Contra is bullet hell, when bullets start flying on screen from your upgraded guns as well as enemies, you won't be able to tell when and what to dodge and evade. It can become a little chaotic, so you need to get used to it. Yes, this game could have been longer, but that's how it was back in 80s and 90s and New Contra is in that style as well. 8 out of 10 for maps and graphics. Next section is gameplay. The most important part, 2D, origin side scroller, co-op or single player action bullet hell shooter. That's what it is, in short. I killed 5000 enemies in one single run. 5 freaking thousand in 3 hours and I died 147 times. It was fun, rage inducing, immersive, funny and challenging all at once. Not to mention nostalgia on top of it all. Gameplay offers some new movesets as well now, including dash option to our contra squad as well as double jump and wall hanging. Speaking about some of those new moves, there was that map 6, 6 map in a row that was absolutely infuriating and full to the brim with traps and platforming parts. That map feels like it doesn't belong to Contra at all, but hey, the rest of the maps are absolutely brilliant. Over 50 achievements and trophies are there to conquer and plenty of mods to play on. This is the game about gameplay and it succeeds in a best possible way. 9 out of 10 for the gameplay. Next section is leveling and itemization. This is a new segment for Contra games cause now on top of all flying weapon upgrades during gameplay now you can also unlock 
perks, a lot of perks, like increase overall health, increase lives and unlock special abilities on all playable characters. Of course, as you make progress through story, you'll unlock new playable characters as well. All old school weapons are back and they look better than ever, by the way. There is a problem of course here, it takes forever to unlock perks, they're just way too freaking expensive and it takes a lot of runs to unlock all. This is a big problem for those that don't have enough time to play games. Inflation is through the roof in New Contra and this needs to be tuned down at least 5 times. 6 out of 10 for leveling and itemization. Next section would be NPCs and enemies. What can I say? Every map has a mini boss and a main boss. That would be around 16 to 18 bosses in total. Some of them are new and some are reworked versions from the 90s. Plenty of NPCs in this game for the story purpose as well as humongous main bosses with great design and unique mechanics with multiple phases. Enemy variety is huge for such a short game. AI is very very good and extremely aggressive. Of course, game ends on a cliffhanger for the next game. 8 out of 10 for NPCs and enemies. Last section would be music and sound. Great music, amazing sound effects and very solid voice acting. P.S. The entire game is fully voice acted as well. 8 out of 10 for music and sound. Final verdict. We got 9 sections with 72 points and that would be exactly 8 out of 10 for Contra Operation Galuga in 2024. The bottom line is very fun game, extremely good game for co-op, mega hard game, old school Marvel that's currently overpriced to oblivion. One bad map that doesn't belong to Contra franchise and high price are the only two cons in this game. Everything else is ground solid to great. Now should you play Contra? Yes, you should. Very few games offer pure gameplay as Contra. This genre is a long dead one and Contra does it justice to revive it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.